Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Joshua Matthew. If you are old here, thanks. If you are new here, please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification so that you get notified when I upload a new video. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to design a church banner using Photoshop. So before any further I do, let's get started. So now I'm going to use 20 by 10 inches. Then my resolution is going to be 72. Then click on create. Now you have this. All right. The next thing I'm going to do is to bring my background, which I'm going to use in this tutorial. Then before then, I will copy my color code ctrl c to copy then select your solid color ctrl v to paste then i have my background here then i'm going to bring this image to my background then enlarge it then i'll drag it here this way then click ok go to filter blur Gaussian blur then I will use 15.6 then click on ok then it will come out this way then go to your blending mode then you select hard light now you have this then I'm going to bring the second background Then I'll drag it here. Then click on OK. I'm going to use screen. Then go to Gaussian Blur. Then I'm going to use 12.5. Then click on OK. Now I'm going to reduce the opacity. To 75 or better still make it 60 all right 60 is okay then this is what I have here okay now I'm going to bring my my test. I will copy my test. Control C. Then select your test tool. Then and Control V to paste. Now I'm going to change the color to white. Then. Make it bold. Then I'm going to scale it out a bit like this. Then I'll position it here. Now I'm going to duplicate it, Ctrl J. Then you drag it down. Then I will copy my test again, Ctrl C then i'll control v to paste all right now i'm going to copy the test color and come here then you paste then this is my test color red all right now i will also go back to copy my test again Then select your test tool, then you paste. Then I'm going to change the font and the font color to white. Then also change the font to Alpha Slab 1. Then make it big. Alright, 
then duplicate it again ctrl j then come back and copy of text ctrl c then highlight it ctrl v to paste then ctrl j again then drag it down highlight it then i'm going to copy this one ctrl c to copy then ctrl v to paste then i'm going to change the font to brush strike all right now and i'm going to use this color again ctrl c to copy the color then um, ctrl v to paste it. now i have this color now i'm going to drag it like this okay use your arrow key then to move it up a bit it's okay now after having this one then i'm going to draw a red angle over here like this then i will copy the test color then ctrl v then i have this all right then i will also duplicate this ctrl j then i'll move it up this way like this then i'm going to duplicate on the layer here then change the color to something like this all right then okay now i have something like this then i'm going to bring this brush which i made then i will position it here okay now i'm going to bring this image down to photoshop then i'll scale it then position it here all right now, having done this now what i'm going to do next i will wait drag this one up a bit because i'm going to put my location under here now then i will click on this brush i will reduce my opacity then to 75 it's okay now i have something like this okay then i'm going to draw a red angle over here like this then i'm going to use this color then i will come to copy the pastor name ctrl c then select your test tool then ctrl v to paste then change it to white then I will change the font to railway and make make it bold. Now I will drag it here. Then expand it, make it bigger like this. Then I will select the test and the rectangle here. Then 
apply vertical and uh, horizontal alignment okay now i have something like this then i'll click on this then reduce the opacity a little bit to 85 it's okay now then i will come back again then copy my dates then select your test tool then control v to paste now make it more bigger this way the okay now i'm going to change the font to to black i mean the color to black okay now i will draw i will draw a rectangle over here then I will also apply a black color all right then go back again copy the time then come here then you duplicate it or control J to duplicate then now I'll now move this one down to this side then select your test tool you highlight it and you paste then now I have something like this then I will make it bigger like this then take it over here then I'm going to select this red angle here then I'll drag it here then I'll make this one also to be bigger like this all right Now, I'm going to apply vertical alignment. Hey, sorry, Ctrl Z. I'm going to apply horizontal alignment to make it equal. Now, I have something like this okay then i will copy location select your test tool then ctrl v to paste then change the color to red then i will make it more bolder extra board then increase the size then I'll bring it here all right Reduce the size a bit. Then I'm going to copy the location. Ctrl C to copy. Now I'm going to duplicate this. Drag it down. Select your test to then Ctrl V to alight. Then Ctrl V to paste. Now I will change the color to white. 
then I'm going to apply a space over there. I'm going to apply this space. Okay. Now I have something like this. Then drag it to reduce the size this way. All right. Then after this, I will come to this test. Then go to stroke. Then I'm going to apply a white stroke. Then the size, then size is is four. Okay. Then I'm also going to apply a shadow. Then my opacity is sixty five. Distance nine. Then the spread seven and the size is twenty nine. Then I'll click on OK. Now I'm going to apply the same thing to National. Then go to this place. Then apply. And click on this. Then my style is inner bevel. Then smooth. Then my the depth, I'm going to put 100. Then the size is will be 7. Then this is the contour I use, Martin. Okay. Then I will come to stroke. Then I will apply this orange color to the stroke then I will apply inner glow then it's white the opacity is 100 then I'm going to reduce it to 77 then the size is going to be 13 all right, then I will click on Satin. Then, okay, my Satin. The size is 54. Then I'm reducing it to 16. Then, and the dis distance, I will reduce it to 15 or 13 there. That thing is okay. Then my opacity is 34. Then now I'm going to my drop it shadow. Then the drop shadow will be the same thing. Alright. Opacity 65. Then distance 9. Spread 7. And the size is 29. All right, then click on OK. Now, what I will do now is to right click, then copy the layer style. Then I will come to prayer, then right click and then paste the layer style. Then I have something like this. Okay. So, I have something like this. The last thing I'm going to do is to bring this image, then position it here. It's okay. Then I will drag then I will drag it down okay then I'll drag it down here then this are my background ctrl G 
This is my background. Eh? This is let me see the church name. Here is the test. Thank you very much for watching. Please kindly subscribe, like and share.